Hello, 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 guys. My name is Sibusi Somtsetfa. I, I have to confess my sins before I start introducing myself well and what I'll be doing and why you should subscribe to my channel. So I've been scared. I've been afraid. I've been intimidated. I've been, I've been overthinking. I've been, you know, all these things that have been pushing me away from doing this. My best excuse of not putting out the content through this channel is that was that I needed better equipment. Now, you know, when you have all these ideas and then you say, ah, I need capital when you start, you want to start a business. So I was like that. I was like, no, man, to match the level of YouTubers in this YouTube, you know, platform, I need digital camera. I need to a better studio. And until, until I prayed about it and I spoke to one of my friends about it and was like man don't overthink what god has put in your heart just do it because if you overthink it you will start editing it if you edit it you will not do it the way that he wants you to do it so now i'll be using this phone to now from from now forward i'll be using this phone to put out the content that i'll be putting and i'm happy that i've confessed my sins that's why they've been taking me so long i've been using facebook platform back then to to write the content, to post the content, because my target was a young believer, an unbeliever, and a, a long-time Christian believer. I, I target everyone. I target everyone, mostly. So now I'll be using, I deactivated my account to try, for, for personal reasons, and secondly, to try to focus all the content in this channel. So now I'll be here. So please subscribe. And now I'll be telling you who Sibu Sisom Tsetfa is. And why is he called Pastor Sbo? I hope you figure out along the way. Now, Sibusum Tsefa, I'm a young man. I'm a born again Christian, spirit filled young man who received Christ in the year 2011. And I've been following Christ since then. And I. I wasn't seen. I wasn't seen, guys. There's no way. There's no way I was innocent. I wasn't seen because I was watching porn. I was addicted to pornography. And for some of you, for a lot of you, it's first to hear. You have, it's first of scan to hear that I was battling with. I was battling with lust most of the times. So before God raptured me and rescued me and redeemed me from that. And over the years, over the years, over the years, the devil has been trying to replace this addiction with this addiction, with this addiction, with this addiction. But I've been conquering and I've still con I'll still continue to conquer through Christ. Now, I I am called Pastor Sibu because I, back then in school, I was called a pastor. You know how you, called a, you are called a pastor in school. And I used to preach then, back then. In fact, I started evangelizing the year 2011. I went to homes. If you go to homes in Manjingeni, where I was saved, Mananga here in Eswatini, you'll figure out that this guy has been crazy enough to just go by his own and knock in doors and to preach the gospel and all while i was still at school i discovered my gift i discovered the the gift of singing the gift of preaching the gift of teaching you know i'm still yet to discover more because i cannot limit god to what he gives me in that particular time so i've been serving by all means so i finished school and then trying to avoid the call, trying to avoid the call, trying to avoid the call, but then God won my heart. And now I'm sold out into full-time ministry. I have a diploma in theology, which I completed last year. I'm still hoping that God will open chances so that I continue to to further more in my studies. And I'm in full-time ministry. As I said, I'm in the evangelical church. So I'm serving in a local church called Evangelical Church Mbolunjeni here in Babani. I'm not a senior pastor. I'm just a preacher there. I'm submitting to Banfula Batsala, as I would say in Swati. I'm still submitting to the elders there because we do not have a pastor yet. I'm still praying for God to lead me where he wants me to pastor a church. So now I, I'm still serving there and I'm staying here in Babani. My life has been based in three places actually. In Liba and Babani. And Mananga. And everywhere that you see me, I'm visiting either friends or family or either preaching. But my life is based in those three places. Mliba, Mananga, and Baban. Mliba, Mananga, and Baban. That's where, that's where I'm based at. So I'm a firstborn in 
my mother and father, I'm the first born in my mother and father, but then uh, they split, you know, life happens. I'm, I'm from a step family now. I'm from a blended family. I have two families, you know. Uh, I have my step, my step, my, my mom's family and I have my dad's family. So I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm from a blended family, but I'm the first born in all of them. So now I'm on my own starting life, starting life year and I'm, I'm based here. Still serving God, still pursuing God, still burning and, and and in fire for God. I've been tempted, I've been challenged, I've been tested. I'm still actually been doing that. The devil is, is, is not giving up anyway, now and now. So I I like to 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 bear with me and follow up. Man, I do not have all the equipment that I need to put out my content. But I believe that God wants me to use what I have. And it provide what I need later. So along the way. So what am I going to be doing in this in this channel? Oh, by the way, I'm still not yet married. I'm still praying and I'm still focusing on God. And yeah, all the. So now, what will I be providing in this channel? I said, forgive me. I said I'll be randomly speaking. You remember that? So there'll no there'll be no edits. Where you feel I did off, you'll forgive me for that. Yeah, uh, so in this channel, I'll be actually helping people. My 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 desire is to help people to grow into knowing God better, to grow into knowing God better on their own, and to relying to Christ on their own, to learning to to learn to do things on their own. Uh, in the past years, actually 2018, I started texting people. I wrote messages of you grow. I wrote the you grow messages. Actually, they were based in and challenging and poking a believer to read the Bible on their self, on them on themselves and to pray for them and learn how to pray. Learn how to pray because most believers do not know how to pray. We know how to be be prayed for, but we do not know how to pray. I've, I've, been, I've been in those messages. I talk, I challenge people to fellowship and and to give and to do a lot of things. But now I'll be focusing all that content into these videos, and I. Believe that they will bless you. And in this channel, I'll be interviewing people randomly sometimes and asking them questions. In this channel, also, I'll be asking rhetorical questions where I'll ask so that you answer yourself, so that you help yourself mostly as a believer to grow, to grow. Because my, my target is believers. And I'll, I'll do unbelievers sometimes, but my target is believers, man. My target are believers. So in this channel also, I'll be doing specific topics that others ask me to do and to handle. Or some some of them, I'll just bring them out on myself and just do them. So, as oh, I said, I'll do random random interviews. And I'll do ask other people to treat what I cannot treat. For example, I'm not married yet. I do not know how married... I do not have the experience of marriage. So if... If I'm being challenged or God puts it in my heart to address something about marriage, I'll then ask someone to come and or go to interview them about that particular topic. So, but basically all what I've been, what, I, what I'll be doing here and what I've been doing in my, in my, in my Facebook account is to equip a believer to have a fellowship, continuous fellowship with God each and every day. Uh, it's to equip you to love God more. It's to equip you at home to read the Bible on your own, to know how to follow God, to know how to hear God's voice and to focus and to grow in your relationship, not relying on someone for your relationship with God as, as, as you have a relationship with other people on earth. You do not rely on someone so for that relationship to continue. So here yeah, I'll be doing that. It might be not clearly put, but I'll actually be going with you through the scriptures. Mostly everything that I say is scripturally based. And I'll be, I'm willing to help in any way that you guys ask, what do you want me to say? Or no, what do I do here? I'll be willing to do all that. In this YouTube channel, I'll be putting all that. I'm a musician also, but then I decided to not to include all that now, for now here. Maybe there's time, the becoming time where I have to put my songs out here and do all this and do all that. But I believe that everything has time. But now, for now, we're putting out the content. We'll be doing all these things 
And I'm hoping that you will subscribe and share all what I've been doing here. And as as in Facebook, I started with two likes, with three likes, you know, five likes. And it went up and on and on and on to an extent of 600 likes, you know, in one post, in on one picture, on one whatever. So I believe following is gained as you continuously do something. I believe that God will lead you into your own prayer life and 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 god will in, will inspire you to go back to the roots to the basics of you know not spiritualize too much but to the basics of what christianity and how we should be handling ourselves so i believe that god is leading me to do this it is not you that is it is not you guys that asked me to do this but i basically desire to put out this content through this channel before we are raptured before we go to heaven so i'm I've, I've repented in procrastination, but I'm now here. I'm now just based here. I'll be putting my content here through this phone. And as long as God is here, man, I believe that he'll give me better equipment to continuously do this, to continuously do this, to continuously do this. So thank you so much for listening. I've been randomly speaking, actually, but I believe I've touched everything that I need to touch. And yeah, what am I leaving out? Yeah, every, I've said I've said everything actually that was in my heart that I wish this is an introduction video a random I was just speaking randomly I believe that God can help you to have a fel better fellowship and better relationship to transform your life from yesterday and see yourself knowing how to read God's word see yourself knowing how to pray see yourself knowing how to fellowship you know, see yourself knowing how to give to do all these instructions that are in God's word and I'm doing that too I'm not I'm not just here to 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 come out here and like I've done that, I've done this, man. I'm still learning a lot of things. I'm still learning, I'm still stretching myself for the beta, as Paul says. I I I the past victories and the past failures, I, I forget them, but I'm stretching myself into what God is about to give me each and every day, man. So I believe that this video will bless you and you'll share it so that a lot of you guys will get to know who Pastor Sbu is. And thank you so much for listening. Maybe let us pray before I close or before we cut this video. Now, Heavenly Father, thank you for, for everything that you do for us. Thank you for life. Thank you for food. Thank you for shelter. Thank you for clothing. Thank you for providing us at the point of our needs. Thank you, God, for the life that you've given us. Now, God, we believe that in this world, you've given us platforms, a lot of platforms, you know, which work for good and work for bad sometimes, you know, we, we, we've been criticizing, as a church, we've been criticizing a lot, criticizing the, 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 the media and everything, but now we've discovered through this pandemic that it is actually can, it actually can use, it can, it actually can do better, it actually can work for positive it actually can work for the kingdom of god so now in this youtube channel i pray for everyone that will be following through whatever content that i'll be putting out i pray for myself not to get over my head and think that i know everything and stuff but i pray every nugget and every short video that i'll be sending will help a believer will help this believer that is listening to know you better I pray that by the end of everything, they know how to. If they are lazy to pray, I pray, oh God, that you help them do that. Go see Jesus Christ to help them to help to have a practical fellowship and life with you, not just a spiritual one, but no basics. And I pray, oh God, that you help me as I collect this content and channel it here. I help. I pray that you help me, oh God, to not to think of myself as one of the best what what but then to keep on being humble and to focus on you in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i pray that you help them to subscribe because some of them do not want to subscribe they think it's expensive all this i'm asking in the name of our lord in jesus for the name of, i'm asking all of this in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ our lord amen